Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia Connor and I make lifestyle and motherhood videos uh, sporadically, <laughs> uh, but the goal is to be consistent with them. Um, the goal is once a week, so if you're new here, it would be lovely if you would stick around. Anyways, I digress. Today's video is going to be kind of like a how we Montessori <laughs> at, at home. Um, now, I just feel like as a disclaimer, I should say that we approach um, the Montessori method, I guess, um, very, very casually here at home. It's just something I'm intrigued by and I wanted to implement a few of like the practical life things uh, that made sense for us in our space. We do have a smaller home, um, so it's hard to implement everything. I know there's always a way. I've seen those videos of how people in like teeny tiny apartments fully Montessori with their kids. Um, so I know if I put more effort into it, we definitely could go like full on Montessori. Uh, but this is just kind of how we are dipping our toes in <laughs> here in our home. For today, we're just gonna do like our foyer, his little dressing setup, the bathroom setup, the kitchen setup, and his playroom set up. Um, I'm doing this a lot, but the playroom is really just our living room and we've sectioned off an area of it for him um, and made it kind of as accessible as we could. So yeah, that is what we're going to do in this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so you can kind of see my <laughs> reflection there. I thought I would just start in the front foyer and kind of walk you through the house this way. So here we are. This is our front entrance. As you can see, it is not very large. A lot of it is taken up by the stroller. <laughs> this is just where it needs to live. And then we have like our hooks up here. But basically, this was my little DIY solution to creating a space for him. I'm sure as he gets a little bit older, it'll change. Uh, basically, all I wanted was hooks that he could reach and a seat. And... <laughs> I mean, it works for now. I would like to get a shallower stool so it doesn't kind of take up as much of the hallway space as it currently does, but um, that's okay for now. This was, it's just like a little Ikea chair we bought. Um, I think it was only $35 Canadian. It was a set of a table and two chairs like this, so uh, I'll show you where we have the table and the other chair in a little bit but this is where we keep one of the chairs. Um, I really like it here because he knows now to hop up here and um, I'll help him put on his shoes. And then we also keep his sunscreen here. So he's become very, very patient with me and he'll just kind of sit here as I put sunscreen on his face. And then uh, these hooks he can now reach and I always keep um, like two weather appropriate outerwear options on here. So right now we're getting a ton of rain. I always keep a little raincoat here. I'll just show you. I don't know where this hook is from. My husband got it, but I will ask him and I will link it down below because it's been wonderful. Um, but yeah, so just like a hoodie that we can throw on and a raincoat. And then always a hat is here on the top hook. And then right now, um, we got very, very wet this morning, so his socks are drying there and his sandals are here. Normally, um, his shoes are right under here. I put them there after I clean them every night so that he knows to grab them and then hop up on his chair before we head out the front door. Okay, so moving into the kitchen, here's just a quick overview of what it looks like. Not a lot of kid stuff, kid stuff is out which I really <laughs> like. Um, I really like clean, neutral spaces. And especially in the kitchen, I like to keep it generally uncluttered because I spend so much time in here and it just helps me stay sane. Uh, but over here is his little cleaning setup. I like to keep it where I keep the broom that Sean and I use um, because he's always been very excited about our broom. I'm gonna be honest, he does not like touch the mop or this little duster thing it's really all about the little dustpan and the actual little green broom um we he we've only had this for a few months we are trying to um teach him to kind of clean up his own messes so um he spills like his little cereal snack a lot um and so now he knows to come over here and get this <laughs> and at least 
try to sweep it up. Um, it's actually really, really sweet <laughs> to watch. And I think this will evolve with him. And I'm really excited about that. So moving over here, we have um, his little setup, which is super simple and actually very dirty. There's a reason. Um, it's just his little uh, Ingenuity booster seat. And I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's great. He's very large <laughs> for his age. He's tall. Um, so he is 19 months and even this is like a lower booster seat and he is still perfectly at table height. So that's great for him. Um, I know this wouldn't work for a lot of kids his age, but just because he's a little bigger, a little taller, uh, that works really, really well for us. At some point, um, one improvement I'd like to make is maybe adding a way, an easier way for him to get in by himself because he does often try. It's just tricky. So over here is where we store our learning tower. I specifically got one that could fold up just because we do have quite a small kitchen. But I have to say, this was one of our best purchases. It's one of our most used items. I have him in this like multiple times a day, every day, um, often. Actually, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll link it down below. I believe it also comes in white and gray. Very hard to do with one hand. But you just slide it down and then these can go up on each side. So normally I'll put one bar up on one side and leave one down so that he can climb in and out. And he is pretty good at using this now. He really likes to just like push it around to get where he wants to go. Normally I will pull it up to right here in front of the dishwasher because this is like a big open counter space. And this is where we'll do baking together. Um, sometimes we do like water painting up here while I'm doing something. If I need to be over at the stove, I'll set him up here with like a little dish of water, some paint brushes and some colored construction paper. And he can just spend like a good 20 to 30 minutes doing that. I mean, really like he's in this constantly. I'll often pull the learning tower up right here and then when I have like a pot of something going I will pre-chop things and put them in little dishes here and he'll just like pick them up and toss them in and he knows that this is his little whisk and that he can use these spoons and then any spoon in here he'll just grab and he'll try and like reach over and stir things so yes the learning tower has been just so wonderful I highly recommend getting a learning tower of some sort so the other thing we've just recently added is this little water jug and a little drinking glass. And this has been super, super fun, if not a little messy. Um, he can drink from a cup successfully on his own. So we have switched over to glass. I chose this little mason jar instead of one of our actual glasses just because it's like basically unbreakable. So it's like a pretty safe drinking glass for him and it's like the perfect size for his little hand. He can kind of like one hand this, which is great because we're kind of trying to teach him to pour his own water. So <laughs> um, he has almost mastered it. The problem with this guy is that if you flick it up, it kind of locks open and it's just like a steady stream of water. So normally I have like a tea towel or a little Ikea like one of those little like three dollar rugs here to catch the water and I never fill it up above here just to minimize the mess potential <laughs> if you know what I mean um but yeah this has been lovely so he can just come over here when we're in the kitchen together it's definitely more of a supervised thing for now but um that's been really really fun he knows this is his little water station and he can get water whenever he wants so that's pretty much it for the kitchen there's a lot more I want to add but I'd love to take the curtain down and add in a tray that kind of slides out um, kind of like like our garbage tray does and then on it I want to have like his plates his bowls his cutlery just so he can grab it all and then pop it onto the table at mealtime so that's probably the next thing I'm going to implement so I'll show you inside our main floor bathroom so we've kept the setup in here very very simple now we haven't officially started to potty train yet but 
um, I kind of have my setup ready to go. We are practicing um, with just this little Ikea um, like toilet seat for him. So when he wakes up in the morning after a nap, we're just popping him on here um, just to kind of slowly get him used to that. And that is going really well. So I actually just did a deep clean of this bathroom. But normally in this little thing, which is just from Ikea, it was like the most affordable um, solution I could find. And I'm pretty sure they're meant for like office spaces, but normally I keep books up here for him. And then down here we have like extra diapers and wipes is normally what goes in here. And then eventually I'll have like, when we kind of kick diapers for good, uh, there'll be like extra undies in there and wipes. Um, but that's kind of like why that is there so he can easily reach it when he's on the toilet. And then other than that, just a few things to make this bathroom more accessible to him is the stool. Um, we went through a few different stool options. This is the one I prefer because it's so grippy. Like once his feet are on here, he is not falling off because he really can't slide around at all. Um, I found that alone has made such a massive difference. He's much more stable on this stool compared to like the wooden one we had in here before. And then the big thing that made a big difference in here, I tried a few different soap options. Um, I had like a pump bottle and that got very messy. It was just hard for him to use. And then I also tried bar soap and really that just like went flying <laughs> all over the bathroom. So this is what I found on Amazon and it's just a battery operated little soap pump. So all he has to do is reach his hand out and then he has soap. Um, the one thing I will say is like our actual tap is a little tricky for him to use, but he's definitely figuring it out. And then adults have this little towel here, but he can't reach that when he's standing on the stool. So I always keep a little special washcloth here for him to dry his hands. He always knows whatever is here is for him. And that is our little bathroom setup. So normally um, we'll have him come in here before meals to wash his hands. And anytime we're coming in from outside and he gets extra muddy, extra messy, he'll come in here and wash his hands. Okay, so I just put Ro down for a nap and I thought I would show you our little living room setup. So um, this is like our playroom, <laughs> um, which is really just half of our living room. So we try really hard to keep like this half kind of like the adult side that just, at least for me, keeps me a little more sane. Um, obviously he plays here a lot, but toy wise, we don't keep much on that side of the room. This is kind of his domain. So I'll just kind of give you a quick little overview. And then the bookshelves, the bottom three shelves on each bookshelf are for him. So I just, I guess I will just kind of go around. So starting in this corner, we have this little shelf. Um, sometimes it's this little drawing board. Sometimes it's books, uh, just kind of depending on the week. Uh, and what he's more into, um, we put his most used toys kind of lower here. So like this basket of Mega Blocks is used constantly. He'll kind of like drag the basket around <laughs> and build things all over the living room. And then he really, really likes these blocks from Love Every. So they came in like this big kit. Um, and they've got all these really funky pieces honestly like if you're gonna invest in toys I feel like this love every block set is like the real deal this is what you should <laughs> spend your money on I think for the whole set it's like $90 and it comes with like a lid that is a shape sorter um, lots of cool stuff that you can do with this and it even comes with little people which are in here somewhere, although I'm not going to dig through too much. Um, I just have this little Ikea basket that we keep extra blocks in uh, just because it's easier for him to see what he has when he splits it up between the two baskets. Uh, this little hammer is from a different toy, but he's loving using it. Um, he'll go up to things and like try and hammer it in because I guess he's seen dad hammer a few times and he's very interested in that. So um, sometimes he'll hammer the mega blocks when he's piecing them together it's really cute so I just kind of leave the hammer here for him because that's what he's into up here right now Ro is very much into things that roll um, so not necessarily just like trucks and vehicles but balls as well we have like four more of these and they are just somewhere 
lost in the wind <laughs> but normally this basket is full of balls and he just loves to roll them around um these are his like bigger trucks which honestly like he loves trucks um he loves watching the garbage truck drive by on friday mornings and um we don't really watch a lot of tv in this house but uh, his one show is trash truck and he watches one or two episodes a day and they're like 10 minute episodes so they're short and sweet and sean found this garbage truck at walmart and i think it was five dollars for three trucks so i think it was like this one this one and there's one more i think but it's nice because it's actually green and trash truck in the show is green so yeah he loves this guy he loves trying to put stuff in there and then we just have like an assortment of smaller like hot wheels and stuff um whenever we're out hot wheels are so cheap so we let him choose a hot wheel <laughs> and he likes that again there are more but i don't know where they are probably just like under the piano under various pieces of furniture but we'll find them eventually and then up here um i'm trying to get him into like animals uh so he really likes this elephant and then that's the only like proper animal we have we do have these little like stuffed ones but i think that's the next thing i'm going to purchase is just like a big bag of little plastic rubber animals off of amazon uh, the flashlight it's kind of just like maybe a few times a week he'll pull it out and shine it around um, but he's not like super super into the flashlight he's just kind of showing a little bit of interest so i keep it out and then this is just a random train that actually shouldn't be there because they go in that basket there but yeah this shelf needs work these two shelves are working for us oh the other thing is i keep this bowl here this is actually my friend's bowl that was left here um but we were playing with it outside we were filling it up with water when we were outside and then he started to take his hot wheels and put them in it and he'll just do this and he'll do that for like 20 minutes <laughs> so um i keep the bowl here right beside all the cars because he just loves using it and i just thought that was so cool so for as long as he's interested i'll keep that there um his little ikea play tunnel he pulls this out a lot we love that thing and then down here i have a little music area um it's just like a little piano he's got some maracas um this thing has been like a huge favorite and i think it was like nine bucks at a local toy store so love that and then he just kind of figured out how to use the kazoo <laughs> so um that's been a blast and again these little baskets are just from ikea they came in a set of two and i just love them they're so good they're so good because you can like adjust the height and everything i love them and then right now we're keeping his books here again sometimes we do pop them on these little shelves that i have here and over on the other side um because i know like with the montessori method it's better to have them front facing but honestly like he's in here all the time he knows this is where the books are and he has no trouble like it doesn't cause him to be less interested storing them like this so i think we're going to keep them this way for now often um when i'm prepping for the next day i'll just take out a few and pop them around the living room like beside the couch and on his little table uh, but yeah that setup seems to work for us over here we have this little play kitchen now i am debating turning this into a functional kitchen kitchen and actually popping it into our kitchen but for now it's more of a play area um and like we haven't done anything with it it's just like mostly empty he has some of the ikea uh food and then this is just a little basket full of stuffies and also this one little train that we got as a hand-me-down um it sings some of the disney songs which is fun and we just keep it out because he just loves it so much but yeah that's mostly stuffed animals and then i mean that's really it we have like our little changing table set up here because that is still very necessary and then over here is just his little ikea table and chair again the other chair is at the front door for his little like dressing area where he puts on his shoes and everything um this is normally where he has his snacks so his mid-morning snack and his mid-afternoon snack he'll sit here and have the snack um and then also like he usually likes to use his trains on here that's what he was doing before his nap and then i just keep a basket of train stuff and then we do have more train tracks and stuff but we keep it we keep just a very minimal amount out so 
that's where he keeps all of his trains and over here we have our little TV unit and um, these two cabinets are baby proof so he can't get in because the whole wire situation is not <laughs> not ideal with a toddler so we had to make sure he couldn't get in there um then i gave him these two little cubbies so usually there's a puzzle in here i try and switch it up every few days because he gets bored of them really quick i just kind of keep the puzzle pieces in a basket on top he'll normally pull this out and put it on the ottoman and then this thing is awesome it's this little love every um car ramp i don't know where the blue car is but we still have the red one um but fun fact hot wheels the really low hot wheels cars they actually work really well in this so often he'll bring over his little hot wheels basket and pull this out here and play with that and like this this entertains him for a long long time so love having this thing over here this changes a lot sometimes i'll put the table over here i'm still kind of figuring it out um but i really wanted a little reading nook for him so this is my solution it's actually two king pillows they're like crushed memory foam so you can always kind of put them back um you know refluff them and rejuge them and they always kind of like keep their shape Ooh, i'm just realizing we got some smoothie on it today and then i just got two uh king pillowcases from walmart and i sewed them together and it's just like a little couch for him. It's actually great for his size. And yeah, he sits here a lot. Often we'll do books up here and then we'll put like a big stack of books on here. Um, so he'll just like chill here and read, which is really, really nice. It's really cute. And then right now we're working on matching and sorting a lot. Um, so this little piece from Love Every has been awesome. Also, it's just beautiful. Like, look at these. They're just so, so pretty. <laughs> um, but I like it. You can like take them in and out and we probably try and do this once or twice a day and he's still we've had it for months now and he's still very very into it so I'm leaving it up um, but I just hung it up on a command hook because the idea is to switch this out with something else so then this main area um, oftentimes it's just completely empty again he really likes to pull out that IKEA tunnel and put it out here and play with that um, but normally like once a day I'll bring out the easel which normally we keep tucked away um and he's like i don't know he's so excited about this it's so fun it's definitely still a supervised activity <laughs> he is 20 months and honestly like the chalk i give him one piece of chalk and normally i give him two crayons of different colors today he had pink and green um and actually i don't know where they went so i have to go on a little hunt for those <laughs> when i'm done filming this video um but yeah, he's like really, really enjoying this, but he really just wants to color all over the walls and all over the piano with the chalk. This is what we were doing before lunch and nap. So I am now gonna tuck it away. And then when he wakes up from nap, it'll be like a big open space and he can do what he wants with that. But yeah, this is our little living room setup. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for hanging in there. I feel like this video probably ran a little long, so. If you're still here, kudos to you. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you wanna keep hanging out over here with me on my little corner of the internet. And I will see you guys in my next video, which hopefully, hopefully will be next week. Bye guys.